Okay. Uh, good morning. I'm uh, Eric Brunil, uh, founder and president of uh, Neil uh, Tramaran. Uh, I've been uh, building boat for uh, more than 30 years and uh, after a career of uh, boat builder uh, with Fountain Peugeot, I've been uh, a general manager and shareholder of Fountain Peugeot for uh, 27 years. I mean, we went public in 2007, so I decided to uh, uh, create my own company uh, in 2010 uh, to build uh, specifically a Tramaran. Uh, so obviously I had a lot of experience on uh, building the uh, catamaran but I also uh, did a lot of uh, racing offshore racing single-handed on the tramaran and this brought the idea of creating a cruising tramaran to benefit of all the pluses of a tramaran in terms of speed of performance upwind uh, of uh, comfort at sea because the tramaran is much softer uh, setting in B in uh, waves versus the uh, catamaran, so this is why we have created the uh, uh, Neil company uh, four years ago, and uh, we knew from a very long time that the uh, tramaran were the best boat uh, to cruise offshore, but uh, the existing tramaran just had uh, accommodation in the uh, central hull down below, so it was narrow, not really decent to leave, but though there was always a good looking boat, good performance boat, so they were semi-custom, but are still very good performers. So the main idea of the Neil concept is to have designed a platform uh, above the uh, central hull from a wing to the other wing, creating a great one floor level loft that makes finally uh, the trimaran wonderful uh, for cruising. Especially because in addition to uh, have a lot of room for accommodation, the uh, loft, we could say, the apartment is all on one floor level. So you don't need to go down in uh, wet and slippery steps to get in your cabin. You can do everything from the same platform, same level at the cockpit. Thank you. So now talking about the Neil 45, we've got a boat 45 footer, eight meters wide. We've got three cells, uh, a self-tacking working jib, which is very good to have uh, sailing offshore, a big genie for uh, light airs, a full batten uh, top square main cell. All the maneuvering is done by only one person at the helm uh, position. Uh, the reefing lines and mainsail uh, control are also coming back to the cockpit. Uh, so we designed the boat to be a perfect couple boat. Uh, 
only one person can do the whole maneuvering of the boat and two person are perfect for uh, docking and uh, living on board. And uh, we do have a lot of storage because we've got three hulls, uh, four lockers on deck, so we are full of uh, possibilities uh, of storage for a long cruise. And uh, we do have the central hull uh, available right here at midship. Let me show you here. So this is the way we do put all the long-term storage and equipment we can have down below uh, water maker, generator, battery, uh, banks and the beauty is that the weight is very well centered in the middle of the boat so it does not slow down the boat, does not damage the performance or the behavior of the boat. And the, di and the dimensions of the hull is about space down there? What? Three, two meters, three meters wide, a meter, a meter and a half high by twenty. Oh, it's meters. more. It's a nearly, a nearly, uh, yeah, um, one meter eight high, and it's uh, seven meters long. Seven meters long. Yeah, because it goes as far as over there, and we've got the engine compartment here. And it's a single engine. Single engine, so very fuel efficient, because we burn diesel only with one engine, pushing only one hub, and we've got the bow thruster, so we can turn on our own length. Okay, so we produce our boat in uh, La Rochelle, France, on the west coast of France. Uh, we've got our own company, uh, own building, new building uh, under construction now, and we work. We work also with our colleagues from the uh, Plateau Nautique, where we've got all the uh, specialists of GRP, of cell maker, mass maker. We've we've got a very large uh, know-how. Uh, configuration in, in La Rochelle, which is in a way the capital of uh, boat building in France. Uh, so um, anyone is more than welcome to uh, come to La Rochelle uh, to visit us and see how we work. Okay. So the boat is built uh, in a vacuum bagged uh, PVC foam sandwich and we do have, uh, uh, we are very very much specialized into very nice uh, fiberglass construction. We, we, we work a lot with a unidirectional quadri-axial quadri uh, fiberglass. So this is something we know very well is how the effort goes into a multi-hull and how to make them fairly light but very strong. Especially on the trimaran where we've got our beams going from the bottom of the hull to the top of the roof. So it makes a boat very stiff, very rigid and very solid. So the uh, NIL 45 has been uh, under construction for the last uh, two years. Uh, we launch hull number 10 uh, next month and we are producing now uh, one NIL 45 every two months. And we have started also the construction of the uh, first uh, NIL uh, 65. Uh, the 65 has been purchased by a, a French uh, businessman who is going to do a, a crude charter. Uh, so the boat is under construction, the uh, composite job will be uh, completed by the end of 2015-14 and we'll launch the boat in, during spring um, 15. And the boat will cruise uh, next summer in Med and we'll uh, then uh, do a crew charter in the Caribbean. Uh, as far as the uh, NIL 45 is concerned, we've been uh, uh, selling the boat to different countries. We do have uh, three US owners. We do have also a, a Japanese owner, uh, two French owners, uh, a German one also. We'll build next winter a customized version uh, for an English uh, gentleman. And we also do have a um, boat and a charter. So 50% of the boats are doing a full-time charter or part-time charter. So the owner easily pays for the uh, yearly expense which is uh, nice and uh, we do have uh, families and couple traveling uh, around the world or touring med uh, full-time on the boat we are uh, for example we do have a family right now uh, sailing around the world with their NIL 45 they are currently uh, living uh, Galapagos for the uh, Marquises Island 
And the nice thing to know about is that this family was a real uh, beginner. I mean, they were just uh, uh, windsurfing and they learn really quickly how to use this boat because it's so easy to handle and to maneuver. So uh, they have two very young kids, I mean, just two and four uh, years old, and they first cruised the Med. Uh, then the father did a solo transatlantic on his own. Uh, so it tells you how easy the boat is to handle and to uh, use offshore, and then the family joined the boat again in the Caribbean, across Panama Canal, and now uh, uh, here they go, uh, crossing the Pacific. The NIL uh, 45 has been shown in different boat shows, so first presentation, presentation had been done uh, two years ago, first in France at the Cannes Boat Show, and the boat also got um, exhibited at the Annapolis Boat Show uh, two years ago uh, in October 2013. And the nice thing, a nice welcome uh, happened in the US. Uh, we got orders from US customers, but also we've been elected Boat of the Year uh, by Cell Magazine and Most Innovative uh, Boat by Cruising World. And it's probably the only time uh, that a yard got those two major awards the same year with a new, uh, new boat uh, just launched. Uh, as far as sailing is concerned, the uh, NIL 45 performs very well, especially upwind, uh, because the rig is uh, very stiff on the central hull, so it does not uh, flex, it's much more rigid than a catamaran, and it does not heal like a monohull, so those two uh, factors make, makes it very f fast upwind, and obviously even faster on a beam ridge or downwind. Uh, and the beauty of a tramaran is that instead of rocking, of healing like a monohull, or rocking from one wave to the other like a cameron, the tramaran is very, very soft riding because the central hull is just lifting up and down nicely from wave to wave, and the uh, sea keeping and comfort is much better than any other type of boat.